Hi, it's Katrina. From long-living reptiles who have been around since before the time of the dinosaurs to a marine species that can technically live forever, here are 10 of the oldest living creatures on Earth. Number 10. The Tuatara The Tuatara is an ancient lizard-like reptile species and the last surviving member of the Rhynchocephalia reptilian order. It has a unique third eye, which is not used for vision, but this eye has a superpower. It can somehow detect ultraviolet light. This species scores as one of the world's oldest living animals on two counts. For one, it's been around since 220 million years ago, before the dinosaurs, and survived the extinction of the dinosaurs. While the species existed on every continent at one point, it currently only exists in the wild in New Zealand. Secondly, scientists believe the Tuatara can live for up to 120 years. They reach sexual maturity around 20 years of age and are only capable of reproducing every four years. Consequently, it is very difficult to breed the Tuatara in captivity, but specialist Isolde McGeorge succeeded in doing so in early 2016, after nearly four decades of trying, making her Britain's first Tuatara midwife. The long-awaited moment came after a 238-day incubation period. By the time McGeorge accomplished this seemingly impossible feat, she had only ever witnessed the male Tuatara's mating dance twice. Tuataras are incredibly slow animals, taking just five breaths and experiencing six to eight heartbeats per minute. And if they're not in a rush to do anything else, there's certainly no reason to think reproducing would happen any differently. The successful pairing between Pixie, a male, and a female named Mustard took 12 years to pull off. As a result, Mustard laid two eggs, one of which hatched successfully. McGeorge's crowning career achievement, the hatching of the egg, was captured on camera, which is fortunate for the rest of the world since it sounds like it may be a while before such a spectacle is witnessed again. Number 9. The Bowhead Whale the bowhead whale, which weighs as much as one ton at birth and reaches up to 60 feet long and 120,000 pounds by adulthood, spends its entire life in frigid northern waters. They are considered to be the longest living mammals on Earth, living to at least 200 years. How do we know this? In 2007, the head of an old harpoon was found embedded into a bowhead whale that was manufactured between 1879 and 1885. Somehow, this whale managed to escape and live on for another 128 years. And who knows how old it was when it was attacked? Along with chemical evidence from their eyes, this indicates that this species may be the oldest living mammal. Biologist Craig George has learned a lot about this gigantic creature in his more than 30-year career studying it. But until relatively recently, its age was somewhat of a mystery. Scientists long theorized that bowhead whales have a similar lifespan to other whale species, but later realized, based on the harpoon points found in some of their bodies, that they can probably live for far more than a century. Geochemist Jeffrey Bada of the Scripps Institute of Oceanography in California helped George solve the mystery of the bowhead's lifespan. An expert in determining the age of things based on an amino acid in their eye lenses and teeth, he examined 48 frozen bowhead eyeballs. While most of the adult whales were between 20 and 60 years old when they died, five samples reflected whales who died between 91 and 211 years of age, meaning the oldest was alive when Thomas Jefferson was president, according to the American Geophysical Union's blog. Before this research took place, the oldest known mammal lifespans were 114 years for the fin whale and 110 years for the blue whale, as well as a French woman who passed away at the age of 122, if her birth certificate was dated correctly. Number 8. Hanako the Koi Fish Hanako is the oldest koi fish that supposedly ever lived. She died in 1977 at the believed age of 226, which means that she was born in 1751. Her last owner, Dr. Komei Koshihara, inherited her from the maternal side of his family and kept her in a pond at the foot of a mountain in Japan's Kamo district. He claimed that his family had built the habitat solely for Hanako's well-being and attributed her longevity to him and his ancestors' love for her, as well as the pure, high-quality mountain waters that fed her pond. Koshihara told the world about his beloved fish in 1966, roughly a decade before her death, over Japanese national radio. At the time, she measured 27 inches long and weighed 16 and a half pounds. Hanako's official website claims that she was semi-scientifically proven to be the oldest koi in the world. 
Her age was supposedly determined by counting growth rings called annuli on her scales, a process that took two months in Hanako's case. Some people found it hard to believe that she lived for so long, since most koi fish live somewhere between 20 and 30 years in captivity. But the claim that Hanako lived alongside two others, who lived to be 170 and 141 years, seemed even more outrageous. At the same time, these claims have never been disproven. What do you think? Is Hanako's long life a true story or a tall tale? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Giant Tortoise An Aldabra tortoise named Adwaita made headlines in 2006 when he died at 250 years old at a Calcutta zoo. His age was unconfirmed, and the zoo expressed interest in carbon dating his shell, but it's unknown whether this ever happened. But there are written records that have come with the tortoise over the years. If Adwaita, who arrived at the zoo in 1875 from the Seychelles, was indeed the world's oldest tortoise at the time, the second placeholder was a 176-year-old Galapagos tortoise named Harriet, who lived at the Australia Zoo and died the same year. Charles Darwin himself captured Harriet during the 19th century from the island of Isla Santa Cruz. More recently, in October 2019, a female tortoise named Alagba died in a Nigerian palace at the alleged age of 344 years. If this information is accurate, it would have made her the oldest tortoise not just in Africa, but the entire world, and it also means that she lived alongside many monarchs throughout her lifetime. While the ages of some of these tortoises may be left to speculation, these creatures can undoubtedly live an extremely long time. The oldest tortoise currently alive in the world is Jonathan, a Seychelles giant tortoise who is around 187 years old. Number 6. Ming the Clam until its death in 2013, a 507-year-old clam named Ming held the world record for the oldest known invertebrate. Ming, a bivalve mollusk, was likely born around 1499 and is accordingly named after the Chinese dynasty that was in power at the time. In an ironic twist of fate, researchers accidentally killed Ming, who was picked up from an Icelandic seabed back in 2006, when they opened its shell to try and determine its age. They originally thought Ming was 405 years old, but later revised the age to 507 or older, based on updated dating methods. We are absolutely certain that we've got the right age now, Bangor University ocean scientist Paul Butler told Science Nordic. Determining a bivalve's age includes totaling its annual growth rings. Ming was so old, its rings were extremely close together and difficult to distinguish, and there may be others of similar age that we just don't know about probably best for them. It is entirely likely that some fishermen may have caught quahogs that are as old or even older than the one that we caught, Butler said. He further explained that what counts as the world's oldest creature depends on how you measure age. And now for number five. But first, what do you think is the oldest living animal? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. Number five, Greenland shark. The Greenland shark has made countless headlines in recent years as the world's oldest living vertebrate, with some publications putting its age at up to 512 years. In a 2016 study, scientists radiocarbon dated the eye lenses of 28 specimens and found one female to be an estimated 400 years old. But this method does not produce exact dates, meaning that she may have been as young as a ripe 272 years or as old as 512. She was probably born during the 17th century. Like many other creatures with extraordinarily long lifespans, the Greenland shark grows very slowly at just a centimeter a year and is 150 years old and around 13 feet long by the time it reaches sexual maturity. Lead study author and marine biologist Julius Nielsen of the University of Copenhagen said, We had our expectations that we were dealing with an unusual animal, but I think everyone doing this research was very surprised to learn the sharks were as old as they were. Greenland sharks, which grow up to 16.4 feet long, dwell deep in the cold North Atlantic Ocean. While living long may seem like an advantage, the BBC reported that this species may still be recovering from being overfished before World War II, specifically because of its age. What's more, it's reportedly rare to spot a sexually mature female or a pup, according to Nielsen, who continued by saying that there are many teenagers right now, but that it will be another century or so before they're of mating age. Number 4. 4,000 Year Old Corals Back in 2009, scientists verified that deep sea corals are some of the world's oldest marine creatures, with the discovery of a 4,265 year old black coral off the Hawaiian coast. 
The species in question, Leopathies, is the older of two that the researchers collected, but at an estimated 2,742 years old, the other sample, a gold coral called Gerardia, was also found to be impressively ancient. These findings show that deep-sea coral skeletons grow much more slowly than scientists previously thought, increasing at a microscopic rate of just a few micrometers annually. As the skeletons build, the tiny living polyps inside are replaced continuously over hundreds, or as in this case, even thousands of years. Growing at depths between 1,000 and 10,000 feet, deep sea corals may seem safer from the effects of climate change than shallow corals, but they're not, and they face the added threats posed by bottom trawlers. They're also equally important to their ecosystems, serving as housing for other creatures and attracting biodiversity. Number three. Monorhaphis chuni. Sponges are simple creatures. They don't visibly engage in many of the cognitive activities that, in our eyes, identify something as a living being, like communicating and moving freely throughout the environment. But they are indeed living organisms, and while their lifespans vary, many sponge species can survive for thousands of years. A 2014 study published in the journal Aging Research Reviews — that's an appropriate name for what we're talking about — determined the age of one particular specimen of the Monor Hafis chuni glass sponge species to be around 11,000 years old. It's much longer than the known lifespan of any other creature on Earth, prompting scientists to further explore its biological functions and other aspects of its longevity, including the simple question of how any creature could possibly live so long. Monorhaphis chuni, a deep-dwelling species, grows up to 10 feet long and was discovered between 1898 and 99 during the Valdivia expedition, which searched the dark depths of the world's oceans for previously unknown life forms. They were kind of ahead of their time. Number 2. 42,000-year-old worms In mid-2018, researchers reported the alleged discovery of two ancient nematodes, or roundworms, who came back to life after spending roughly 40,000 years frozen in the Siberian permafrost and being thawed out in a scientific laboratory. This would make them the oldest living creatures on Earth and would constitute the longest period an animal has survived being cryogenically frozen. The viable specimens, both of which are believed to be female, were reportedly discovered among 300 Arctic permafrost soil samples by a team of Russian scientists working with researchers from Princeton University. They were stored in a lab at minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit before being defrosted in a petri dish and kept in a 68-degree environment for several weeks. Eventually, they showed movement and began eating. The findings could yield valuable insight in several scientific fields, including cryobiology and cryomedicine, according to a statement the team released. But some experts have challenged the extraordinary claim. Nematologist Robin M. Giblin Davis told Gizmodo that theoretically it's possible that Pleistocene era worms came back to life, but that it's just as likely that modern organisms contaminated the soil samples. I don't know, I mean, don't tardigrades do the same thing? They can be frozen and brought back to life. While there are skeptics, it seems as if most experts have admitted that the claims of resurrection have not been disproven. What do you think? Is it possible to revive frozen organisms after tens of thousands of years? years? Let me know in the comments! Number 1. Immortal Jellyfish Turritopsis dorni, also called the Immortal Jellyfish, is the only known creature that can technically live forever. These tiny creatures, which have up to 90 tentacles, only grow to about 4.5 millimeters long. Discovered in the Mediterranean Sea in the 1880s, the Immortal Jellyfish begins life just like all other jellyfish, as a bottom-dwelling larva called a planula that grows into a colony of polyps and spawns multiple genetically identical jellyfish. Just weeks later, they've already reached adulthood, which may cause one to mistakenly think that the species has a relatively short lifespan. But this specimen has a unique trait that enables it to developmentally regress back to a polyp in response to perceived threats, physical damage, and even starvation. The reborn polyp resumes the life cycle normally, growing into a colony and spawning more genetically identical jellyfish. This cellular process is called transdifferentiation and has captured scientists' attention for its potential medical use. It's essentially a form of cell recycling that involves an adult cell repurposing itself into a different type of specialized cell. Researchers hope that further study will lead them to figuring out how to implement the process for replacing human cells damaged by disease. 
pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching. Which animal was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. See you soon. Bye.